In this snip, we're going to look at installing Ghost on Ubuntu 16.04. I've already created my VPS and logged into it as root. If you want to see how we got to this point, watch the snip How to Create a New Digital Ocean Droplet. The first thing to do is to create a new user. This user can be called anything other than Ghost, as this will be created automatically during the installer. Supply your new user a password and confirm it, and provide details as needed. Give your new user super user privileges, and then switch over to this new user that you've created. Now go ahead and use apt-get to update your system, and then go ahead and upgrade any packages that are pending. And now go ahead and install the Nginx web server. Nginx adds some default firewall rules, which you can see by running UFW app list. And you can enable these rules using sudo UFW allow nginx full or either of the specific HTTP or HTTPS rules that are available. You should do the same for OpenSSH and then enable the firewall. It's important to make sure that you've allowed OpenSSH or else your connection may be disconnected. You can see the status of the firewall by running UFW status. Next you need to install the MySQL database. It's important to set a password here. Not doing so may cause issues during the ghost install itself. Now add the repository for node source and that's deb.nodesource.com and specifically set up underscore 6.x and then go ahead and install Node.js With Node.js installed you can use npm to install Ghost CLI This is the tool that you'll be using to install and manage Ghost Now make the folder where Ghost is going to be installed and give yourself ownership of this directory then change into that location and run ghost install you'll be asked a number of questions in order to configure the ghost blog as you require now enter the URL for your blog prior to recording I have set up a domain name and pointed it at the IP address for this server and that is snip.guru and I'm specifying HTTPS as I'll be using SSL encryption for the instance assuming you've been following along localhost will be fine for your MySQL hostname the username is root and this is the password that you specified earlier. You can change the ghost database name here. You would do this if you were running multiple instances on one host. And then allow the installer to create a ghost MySQL user. The installer can also configure the Nginx web server for you. If this is the only thing the server is going to be doing, go ahead and do say yes, otherwise you'll need to configure Nginx manually. And then I do want to set up SSL. This is going to use Let's Encrypt to sign a certificate domain name. And I need to specify a email address for this. This SSL certificate will only be generated if the URL you've specified above successfully resolves to the IP address of the server that you're running this command from. If that's not the case, you'll receive an error. Then configure systemd to ensure that the ghost service starts automatically and is running when it needs to be. And then finally, we'll start ghost. 
As you can see during this install, a lot of automated checking is happening and you'll be warned if anything isn't as it should be. So now we should be able to access our blog and we've successfully navigated to snip.guru on HTTPS and if we inspect the certificate, you can see that it's been issued by Let's Encrypt. You can access the admin portal by going to slash ghost and creating an account. And now we've got our default install of Ghost installed on our DigitalOcean droplet. That's been installing Ghost on Ubuntu 16.04. Thank you for watching.